But when I was young, before I was married, I was, although a cradle Catholic, I was not a very good Catholic. Mm -hmm. And I had not one, but four abortions. The best of the week on Relevant Radio. Let's go to Jane. Jane, how can I help you? Well, I don't know if you can, but I have an awful lot of questions. Sure. Um, let me just start by saying that I'm uh, an older woman mm-hmm. married with five children, two of mm-hmm. them who are adopted, and ten grandchildren. Mm-hmm. But when I was young, before I was married, I was, although a cradle Catholic, I was not a very good Catholic. Mm-hmm. And my morals were less than good. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, I thought I was pretty good. It was in the 70s, so mm-hmm. I thought, yeah. I'm doing fine. But no, I was not. Mm-hmm. And I had not one, but four abortions. Mm. Um, oh my. When I married my husband, he was a very good Catholic, and he knew what I had done and mm-hmm. uh, married me anyway. God bless his heart. God bless him, yeah. Yeah. But um, since, well, I don't know when I've been listening to re- relevant radio, but it's been a few years. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I've heard people say, well, if you've had an abortion, you're excommunicated. Oh, well, no, no, I no, went no, to no, confession no, no. and I confessed yeah. those abortions, mm-hmm. but yeah. no one ever mentioned that to me. No, no, you're not. You, you are only excommunicated in an abortion if you know that it's excommunicatable. In other words, you did that without knowing it would put you outside the church. Thus, it did not put you outside the church. You needn't worry well, about... I knew it was the wrong thing. Yes, of <laughs> course. You knew it was the wrong thing, but you did not know that it it formally... You know, if a person knowingly procures an abortion, either for themselves or for other people, uh, and knows that this puts them outside the church, then yes, but not... Uh, you know, I'd have to, I, I don't know if that's changed... In your situation, you don't have to worry about being excommunicated. You are not. But um, it's clear that you're repentant. But I'd, I'd like to pray with you. Would you mind if I did that? You're not in a car or anything, are you? No. No. All right. I just want you to take a deep breath and close your eyes if you do that. And this might be a little painful at first, but but the Lord wants to heal your heart. And what I would do, what I'm asking you to do, is to to imagine those four children. Can you do that? Little children. Little children, can you imagine those four kids? Mm-hmm. And I want you to imagine that Jesus is standing right in front of you. Can you do that? Yes. And I want you to give those kids to Jesus. Just say, go to Jesus now. And Lord Jesus, we give you these these four little little children. And we ask you to care for them until my sister can receive them again in the world to come. Take care of them. And I want you to imagine that Jesus, the Blessed Mother's right there. And Jesus turns to his own mother and he says, here, Mom, take care of these kids with me. Just imagine that. Lord Jesus, you are the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, and you can go back in time. And I ask you, Lord, to go back in Jane's life and just to take her out of that situation where she felt she had to have these abortions. And Lord, we ask, we ask you to forgive those people who, who helped to do that and who maybe even convinced her that it was the right thing to do. Lord, you've forgiven Jane and you've taken these children into your keeping and care and we trust you. I, Jane, I just want you to thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Blessed Mother. Can you say thank you, Blessed Mother? Thank you, Blessed Mother. Lord, we ask you to seal seal the wound and to heal Jane and to let her know that she's gone on to please you and to glorify you in these other children that you've given her and in the grandchildren that she loves so dearly. We ask all these things in your holy name. Jane, may Almighty God bless you, heal you, and strengthen you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We will all be praying for you, Jane. Okay? God bless you. God bless you. Thank done you. and done. All right. God has forgiven you, and, um, and he, he's blessed you. All right. God bless. 
Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Bye. All right. Like what you just heard? Share it with your family and friends. And thanks for listening.